How's it going, Dopamon fans? Welcome back to our NHL 2021 Entry Draft Scouting Report list for Russia. Today, we are doing the second scouting report, number 30 in our top 31 list, Matvey Averochkin. He's a winger that plays for Krasnaya Armia Moskva. He stands 6 foot 5 and weighs 201 pounds. He is uh, typically a winger. He does play some center, though uh, uh, wherever I've seen him, he definitely does play better on the wing. What stands out most immediately to me is his skating. He is not very good at it. Yeah, whenever he tries to, to apply a strong forecheck, he's easily beat by the uh, the defenders who make a quick pass and get right around him. Uh, kind of kind of embarrassing. And uh, he he is really good at using his his long reach, but uh, with his speed, it's just completely ineffective. Uh, what I've noticed is that he has a terrible balance on the ice. I don't know if it's uh, his, his feet, he doesn't have his skates, or if he has weak legs, but uh, he, can, he lines up, you know, these really big hits, and he seems to just bounce right off of guys who are smaller and weigh less than him. And uh, at 6'5", you can't have him bouncing off of other guys. You have to have it the other way. The big strength I found in his game is his neutral zone play. He's always keeping his head up and watching to force a turnover to seal a pass. He's really good at that. You don't really expect that a six foot five being as big as he is and being as slow as he is to be able to, to steal pucks, but uh, that's that's what he's really good at. And uh, uh, turning those stolen pucks into chances, he's got a, he you know, keeps his head up. He sees plays really well, and he's willing to make that uh, to make a really big or a really sneaky pass. And uh, I think that's what makes him most attractive to uh, to teams. I'm going to rank him 210th. I think he's a bit overrated. I've seen some sources uh, putting him as high as 90, and I can see a team taking him in the 4th or 5th round because of his 6 foot 5 frame and uh, what other sources say, but I think his uh, issues with his balance are just too great to overlook. Uh, I don't see him uh, panning out at the NHL level if he can't vastly improve that, and I don't know if that can happen. Thank you so much for watching. Let me down below what you think of Averochkin's game. He's definitely a guy with a lot of polarizing opinions, and I can't uh, wait to hear what you guys think. See you guys in the next one.